Hey, I'm really sorry about that, uh, people out there who are watching. Uh, really sorry about that because now I lost all my viewers. You want to, are you ready to uh, make a trip around the corner? Yes, just one second. Uh, as soon as you're done tweeting. Tweet me out again. I got my viewers back. Uh, excuse me. I just got a call from my friend Paul D. Rienzo, who uh, uh, who's interviewing a friend of ours, uh, Egyptian revolutionary Ahmed Salah. And uh, we were talking about the interview. If you're really interested in watching it, uh, you can uh, go to Paul D. Rienzo. It's D E, capital R I E N Z O. Um, he's on Facebook, and uh, you can find him there. Um, and he has, and he's also on YouTube. Uh, and it's uh, I can't remember what his URL is, but get on YouTube and then and then uh, and do a search for Paul D. Rienzo and. Uh, Ahmed A H M E D S A L A H, and uh, you can, if you uh, search those, you'll find a video that Ahmed did. It was very wonderful, and he has very powerful words of encouragement for us here in the movement here in the United States. So uh, we're getting ready to go around the corner here to go talk with some occupiers and uh, see if uh, have a little party, maybe have a good time before we leave, and uh, have to go back to San, uh, Washington D.C. So give me a second here. We're kind of ready to go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm totally ready. <laughs> All right, we can either go down or we can go up. Whatever you want to do. Because it's up one block that way anyway. We're gonna. Well, I'll go up from here. All right. I don't want to go all the way back up the whole block. Yeah, I hear it. Anyway, we're on our way. There's nobody down here at Zuccotti. So we're going to go around the corner. There is a Occupy Union Square that goes on every night, but I haven't been there. And we're in the concrete jungle. At Zuccotti Park. I'm fortunate that these occupies have to be in these such highly heavy urbanated zones because I'd much rather be occupying the countryside. <laughs> so. Okay, we're just around the corner from the New York Stock Exchange and Wall Street. We're down here to occupy Wall Street. Uh, this is your intrepid reporter, citizen journalist, free man Sullivan, wheeling through the streets. Right now we're at Tim's and Broadway, which is Tim's is like that little side street there. All the stock brothers work down here. So if you see somebody in a suit, chances are there's some kind of guy that's ripping you off. Although we don't want to make sweeping generalizations, so. And now here is our occupation. So everybody, how you guys doing tonight? Not too bad, not too bad. So there's a uh, nightly encampment of occupiers, much like San Francisco. Kind of smells. It smells like some kind of chemical around here, doesn't it? How you guys doing tonight? Alright, how are you Not too bad. Uh, my name's Clark. I'm from San Francisco. And I, I was here last night. I'm visiting uh, from Occupy. Uh, there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm live streaming. I was here. Yeah, I was here Monday. Right, I'm getting ready to leave town tomorrow to go back to, uh, to back down to uh, Maryland and, and D.C. Yeah, we're heading so. down to D.C. for an anti-nuclear thing. Oh, cool. I'm only going to be there for like a day or two. I'm, I actually came down tonight mainly because there's a young lady who needs uh, to get a bus ticket back to Washington. And I'm leaving. Uh, I told her she'd meet me at the bus stop tomorrow. I have the address and everything and a time that I'll be. I'll pay for a bus ticket and bring her in. She can go down to D.C. So, you know, cause it's only like 20-something bucks. It's nothing. Like 23. Yeah, yeah. Get her back down to it. Yeah, yeah. Right on. That's what I took up here. I've been using that whenever I come to the East Coast. Where you catch that thing at? Um, Madison Square Garden, and they got a yeah, they got a place on. Um, oh, I got the address in my wallet. Well, they got a few places. Yeah. I yeah. went down. How was it? Was it all right? How was it? Yeah, it's like about close to about four hours from DC. Four hours. You know, and if you take the late ones, when are they going tomorrow? They go every day, every hour, every of every day. When is the demonstration? Uh, my, I, oh, in DC tomorrow. 
on Saturday? Maybe I'll come down. On Saturday or what? I think it's on Saturday. Okay, where's that? There's supposed to be a bus leaving, but I heard that was bullshit. Oh, okay. Is there like a is there like a website or anything that we could check out? Yeah, you can go to. You got the, you got the URL? Because I got a lot of people watching here and everything, and they might want to go too. What's the URL, so, Uh Universal Resource Locator. Yeah, it's like web address. All I know is go on their regular website. Do you know what the uh, uh, what do you know what the group Occupy is DC. that's sponsoring? Occupy no. DC. Yeah. No, okay. Some other group. I'm Occupy DC. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 last yeah, night, Mr. Yeah, I'm wearing your T-shirt. Nice. That's right. Yeah, that's Actually, you know the website yeah. for the uh, anti-nuclear. Yeah. What's uh, what's the website for the anti-nuclear thing? You don't know? No, I don't. Okay, because uh, it's Facebook. It's NRC groups. or something. Facebook groups. Okay. And what's the name of the what's the name of the event? You don't know? I've been here for a week. I don't know nothing about yeah. DC right now. Okay, well, I'm talking. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, we're just I asking. Know, I know we got to stop the racism action on the 22nd. Which oh, in DC? Tomorrow, I believe. Tomorrow through Saturday. Tomorrow's 21st. Tomorrow's 21st, and it's Saturday. The Klan's showing up, so we're going to. Oh, that's what it is. It's the Klan. Yeah, for the Klan, Klan and the Aryan Nation and uh, South South African supremacists. And that's where we're going to be at? In it's, the, somewhere in D- in, it's somewhere in DC. Okay. All right, we'll keep tuned for that because I'm, I might have to go down to Washington to. To live stream that, right? So. Uh, might have to give up my ride to Baltimore. And not have to just do that. It's more important. I can, I can get my dad to drive down to DC to come pick me up. All right. Well, we're going down and look for this Ling lady, and and thanks a lot, man. Danny, my name's Clark. This is Tiffany. Clark, good to meet you. I'm always down here supporting, 100 percent. Yeah. Right. And we're gonna up wheelchairs in New York City now. Man, being in a wheelchair, being in a wheelchair is being locked up. That's true. Okay. You don't need a double lock up. Yeah, well, they, they're not gonna hold me down. All right, I'll see you guys later. All righty. Have a good night, man. Hey, you too. I'll be. I'm hanging out for a while. I'm not leaving. So, how you guys doing? I, oh yeah. yeah, it's been a good trip. I'm getting ready to leave tomorrow night, back back down to Washington, and then back to San Francisco. But it's been a good trip, and I'm really excited. I just met with um, Global Revolution, and uh, we're gonna we got some stuff coming up uh, that's gonna blow everybody away from uh, Christmas time. So I can't wait to get back to San Francisco to get back to work. Writing code. I'll be coding again. Yes, indeed, for a few a few weeks. So. Yes, great things are happening. Awesome. All right, so what up? We'll see if I. Can. Hey, how you guys doing? Yeah, you know, a little chess game going down here. Anything you want to say out there to the audience? Got winners. Oh, huh. All right, go ahead. We're down here at Trinity Plaza near Broadway, uh, right around the corner from the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, how you doing, night? A little calmer down here tonight than it was last night. Seems like. You know, and we're looking for a young lady who um, she has blonde hair. Um, she wants to go back to Washington. Um, so I'm just gonna try and find her. Stream is down, huh? Oh yeah, well that was just a second ago. We had to, I had somebody call me up and knock me off my stream. I have to get my telephone calls here, so I'm only gonna be here for a while. I'm sorry about that. Uh, my stream has to take second place into my telephone calls for the time being, but I'm my phone's not overflowing. So. Hey, how's it going, man? How you doing, man? Not too bad. I'm looking for that young lady that needed a ride to uh, DC. You yeah, remember from yesterday? She was a. Uh, yeah. She was just here. She went to a friend's house. Oh. Oh, damn it. Like two seconds ago, she went that way. I think it's this young lady right here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, is that it? Yeah, this is your... Yeah, I just came back down here. Are you? Do you still want to go back to uh, D.C.? She's cute. Yes, I do, but I still don't have the money. Well, I'm telling you, do you want to meet me uh, tomorrow night to catch the midnight uh, bus back to D.C.? I'm not asking you if you had the money. I asked you if you wanted to catch the bus. I'll pay for your ticket. Because we're going together. I still have one person left. 
Okay, well, I can't. I can only take one person with me. I can only afford you that. So my money's starting to run a little bit low. But if you want to go, I'll take you. How much is it still? $22? It's twenty-two dollars. Yeah. Can I get twenty-two dollars for the you still have? Well, I'd rather have you. I'd rather pay for the bus and have you get on the bus. Not that I don't trust you or anything. It's just it's been my policy because that's just the way things. Are. But if you want to go, um, right? Meet me at. Um, I'll have the I'll have the thing, and before I leave here, I'll let you know exactly where it's at. I'll write it down for you, and just come and hang out. And you'll see me down there, and I'll make sure that before you get on the thing, unless you want to just hold my uh, my thing here. Um, I was talking about uh, getting the money for his ticket. Well, you have to get the money for his ticket on your own. I'll pay for one person. Yes. We'll figure out where the bus stops. Okay. Yeah. You see that? Where it says 28 Allen? Right? 28 Allen. It's not too far away from here. It's about, it's about this way. Right? This way. And it's like, it's about over here about 12 blocks and about 5 or 6 blocks. Away. It's about 18 blocks. Right? About 8 blocks in that direction. I'll show you in a map before we go, okay? And the bus leaves every hour, and they'll either uh, meet us there around 11, 10 or 11, and the bus leaves around 9, and then we get into Washington around 4, 30, and we'll okay. so they write all this down for you. See, I had all your information. So I didn't know if you were going to, you know, check your email or not, so I put everything up. I didn't have a chance to, but I have been running right Yeah, that's why I came down here, though. Okay? Yeah, and... My, the sign that I, you had stopped on, the city records threw it away this morning. Yeah, well, you can't lose this. If you want to leave and you want to go, I won't lose that. They have a bus terminal there. So you can just wait inside if it's raining or something. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell. Early Saturday morning. I'll show you where it is on the map here. Well, I can't do that on my screen at the moment, but... Is there... Um, between 10... Kind of the earliest probably the latest we have to show up. Twenty-eight Allen. Twenty-eight Allen. Okay. Going. Back to live stream, are you good? Oh, we've got about 40 or 50 people here. They're out here pretty much most of the time. We're at Trinity Church. How you guys doing tonight? Ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, I just came down to hang out. I'm getting ready to go back to leave town. We were talking yesterday. So, and we found, I found Georgia. So we're going to take her to D.C. with us. So she's 
she can get back home to her family. Yeah, I'm from San Francisco. So. What's your name? Priya. Priya? Cool. I was, Clark. At, I was at Occupy San Francisco. Okay. Down at Justin Herman? Huh? Down at Justin Herman Plaza? Yeah, I was yeah. there for a while. I didn't camp out there because of my, my leg and shit. But I was there almost every day. I was in the middle of the police thing when, when we took and made the sculpture of all the, the police fences. Yeah, I was the guy that was behind that. I had a bunch of people that said, look, you guys should take the fucking fences. Right? The cops aren't around. Right? They're using them as barricades anyway. And they're our fences. We paid for them anyways. So let's go get them. So, so we did that. There's still people down at 101 Market Street. Although, yeah, although the other Occupy groups in the city in San Francisco kind of have a lot of issues with the 101 people because they, they believe that their Occupy is the only Occupy in San Francisco and that all the other groups should be subservient to their desires and wishes and that's not the way it's going to be. So when I get back to San Francisco, I got to go back and, you know, it's mostly youngsters. I have no place to go. Right? And they're still there. I'm not saying it's bad, but, uh, you know, there's just a few things. It needs to be cleaner. People need to be cleaner. You know, just little things. Not major, you know, just little things. And, uh, but anyway, I'm not unhappy with them. It's just, it needs to be a little more together. But we did get 5,000 people in San Francisco on, on Monday for the S17 stuff. So San Francisco kicks ass. That's why I'm out here because out here doesn't kick ass so hard and uh, need some help, you know. So we're all excited to be out here. You know, we do have a nice police protection that's out here to protect us. Seems like a nice young officer. He keeps an eye on what's going on around here. Uh, I was, uh, when I left here, I was actually talking to some of the police and I talked to one cop, I asked him for direction on the subway. And he's kind enough to go downstairs and look at the map and come back up and give me the information I needed. He's a really nice guy. Yeah. And so if you ask him nicely, they are real people. And uh, and I, I've always found that, uh, I mean, I, I know that there's a lot of... Uh, I don't really expect cops to act like humans and obey the law. I will not respect cops that follow the police orders and that swear in their oath. If they are allowed, when they take their swears, their swear their oaths, it says in there that they don't have to follow the orders. They do it anyway. I agree. I agree. But a lot of the cops down here, they don't want to, I mean, it's, you know, when you got a 30, when you got a number of years in the police department, you don't want to just have to not follow orders to get fired. And so, you know, you, and then you got your family to take care of. And then everybody else, you know, they're just one more person on the street. What are you doing, RK? There's a time, there's a time in a place where you have to make a life decision. Right. This is the time, and this is the place. And if they, if they, if they were smart, they could do the same thing we do. They could occupy the police force. They could turn it all on. They don't have to just... We're working on it. We're a lot closer to that than you realize, too. So you are you staying dry around here? Is everybody going to be able to stay dry? And Anybody got some cars? No. Towards? No. Okay. So we got a list of things that we need. If you're down here in the New York City metro area, occupiers could use little tarps to keep dry. They could use plastic, large sheets of plastic, sleeping bags, blankets, clothing, uh, all different kinds of gear. You come down here and just drop it off. Food, uh, gloves, long john, socks. Uh, clean clothes, uh, places for people to shower and get cleaned up, so you too can uh, participate and help them out. Oh, that's what solidarity looks like. All right, all uh, everybody on. Uh, all the viewers are jazzed about what's going on down here, right? It's really, you know, because you guys are an inspiration, you know, to be down here. It's real inspiration to everybody that's out here in, um, in United, you know, in TV land. And uh, that's what it's out here. This is what solidarity is all about. I flew 3,000 miles to come out here to participate. So. Me too. Fuck yeah. Right? How did you fly out here? Did you take Virgin? Uh, no. Which, How'd you get out here? 
Greyhound. Oh, Greyhound. Woo. We're gonna have days, yo. Oh. 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 You're hurting me. You're hurting me when you say that. Oh, going to take a Greyhound. Oh. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can't handle it. Oh, okay. Well, the price is right. Uh, I flew in the plane. I, I can't handle it. I'm. I'm only good for a few hours. Everybody down here is in good spirits. It seems like. Uh, when rain has been a factor all day today, but it hasn't, ra it hasn't rained. So, lots of good people out here. We're not going to stay out here too late tonight. Uh, give my love to Fatima from Hillbilly 865. So, uh, big shout out to Fatima if any of you guys know her down here. There's a user online here, uh, Hillbilly uh, 865. because we got fresh cardboard. Ah, great. Nothing says homeless like fresh cardboard. Oh, uh, well, I've sent my fair share out in the streets. Okay. Um, so it's nothing new to me either, you know. So I've did occupations before in previous years of uh, stuff that's outdoors. Like, we did um, Arc Age Vigil um, in San Francisco from 1985 to 1994. Uh, it was the world's longest sit-in at the time. And that was before they called them Occupy. So, but we did that, and, uh... San Francisco homelessness group, Yahoo group, checks my page every day. Yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. It's one of my friends. Uh, see, that's, yeah, but see, that's the name I use on Facebook. Uh, do you occupy homelessness? I'm probably... You probably I'm see probably my one page. of your Facebook friends. I'm trying to start a street newspaper here. Right. Um, what are you trying to start? we need a voice for the voiceless. Yes, you do. All right. And I want everyone behind me, if you're streaming, I just put it on my Facebook page again, and within three minutes, I had six likes on that. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I approached the minister that was doing the housing, and I doubt he's listening to me, but really, I want to stay here and get it going here rather than going to D.C. We need it here. I and, agree. That's why I'm we here. We need to discuss not soup kitchens and AA, but what we do to fight back and why we have to. Because people are not facing how many foreclosures are coming, the hunger that's coming, and the damage that they're doing to people with like, this toxic chemical bruise on the street. You know, like if you have a complaint, they just give you an antipsychotic. Right. I find that, you know, part of the problem that we need to discuss. It's terrible. How are supposed to be people supposed to take care of themselves when their brains are scrambled all day long? I agree. When a doctor, get your, your, you know, your dealer is really a doctor and he's got you more screwed up than anything else. Well, I'm a medical cannabis patient myself. You're what? I'm a medical, medical cannabis too. patient. Oh, medical cannabis. then you run on my page. Right, yeah. Well, we're out in California. We have medical marijuana, so uh, I take full advantage of that. I use it. Um, it's a medicine for me. Um, I had a a couple of years back, and I'm in total remission. And the doctors told me that uh, I keep on using medical marijuana. Even here in New York, I'm not afraid to sit on the street. And if I happen to get arrested for it, uh, which I probably won't, but, you know, well, you Whatever. Know. And what's your what's your name again? It's Virginia Deoccupy Homeless Miss Simpson. Okay. Virginia Deoccupy Homeless Simpson. Look for her on Facebook. Yeah. And it was very nice talking with you. I'm going to keep moving. Yeah. And that because I can only be down here for you know, a little bit. because this movement is going to be led by the homeless, the disabled, the women, the ones that are still sort of invisible. Right. Because they have, and spe seniors in particular, because, you know, like, I worked real hard. I made millions of dollars for these guys in this building back in the 80s. Right. Right? And I thought, you know, when I, when I quote, unquote, retired, things would be cool. They're not cool. How are you supposed to live on 702 a month? Anywhere. Anywhere. I don't care. Even in Florida. You can't you know do it I mean? in San Francisco. Even on a park bench, you can't do it. No. And, and it, it's just really unfair. Well. I don't want to hear some banker who took, you know, who was part of the $23 trillion ripoff, talk to me about soup kitchens. Yeah, I know. How you feel? I want to talk to him about his moral conscience and depravity. And how does he sleep at night? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Right. Nightmare because City, right? Nightmare City. There's plenty of people in Occupy, too, that aren't getting it yet. Yeah, well, well we're out here to educate. That's why we live that's stream. Right. Educate, and educate, educate people. organize. That's right. That's why we're here. And that's why I come out and live stream. I thought it was fun. We were here for the fun. Didn't you think 
there? We came all the way from the Midwest. We were convinced this was our oh, really? party. Where are you guys from? Chicago. Chicago, and you from Chicago too? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. That's we have. I, I, uh, my, one of my friends. We sent to Chicago for the uh, uh, what was it? The NATO. Yeah, that was a big. That was pretty successful. Except for those guys got arrested for uh, was conspiring to blow up a bridge or something. I think I was in Cleveland. Right? You didn't I, know about no, that? That's Cleveland, and then yeah. Chicago had three arrests, 1.5 million dollars of aliens. Yeah, well, they just for got having home brewing equipment. They just got rid of the. Uh, I saw that. Uh, they just got the teacher strike was just settled. Was it? Yeah. I haven't heard that yet. What happened? What did they? Oh, uh, they they won other demands. I know that. Right. I think it's the best strike we've had in my lifetime. So we're hoping Brahm Emanuel caved. So which we knew he would eventually, but you know he's trying to be a big tough guy, but. He is not the boss of me, or you, <laughs> or anybody else. I don't care what they say. That's a good right? one. He's not the boss of me, you know. He's yeah. not. So, Him and a little friend, Barry. You know, or Barry, yeah. Barry's a little prick, too. So, he got all these wonderful... The walking shoes that never found him in his closet. Right. Uh, so we that's gotta, the way that he stood up, you know, to get Walker recalled. We gotta, Isn't it? I think so. He okay. sat in Minneapolis at a $25,000 plate pancake breakfast while they were doing the recalls. Couldn't even go the 300 miles to get to Madison. Oh, man. Unbelievable. He that little bastard. Clinton. Well, Wisconsin's got that other little dick that's running for pre vice president. What's his name? Paul Ryan? Yeah. Yeah, he's a little prick. Yeah, fuck you, Paul Ryan, too. I hope you lose. I hope you're watching this live stream. Uh, Him and his you idiot. wife. You and your stupid fucking running mate, shit homie. We don't like him either. And we don't like Barry. We don't like anybody who's running for president except for maybe Roseanne and Jill Stein. But then again, a president is not a position that anarchists support. We don't support power structures. I added your, you'll see, I just added you on Facebook. Anyway, we're going to look for Will Patima. We haven't seen her down here um, in the nun's habit. I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's... That's actually a piece of garbage, but what I got it for is this clip right here, yeah. right? Keeps yeah. the camera still. And your name? Heather. Heather. Heather from Chicago says hi out there. Yeah. I'm glad to see you down here. Thank you. All right, you guys drive out here, apply. Um, I drove, and then I accrued $2,500 in fines, tickets, and towing fees, and then they took my car and sold it at auction. Oh, you mean here in New York? Yeah. Oh, well, they do the same thing in San Francisco. Yeah. Right, they're thieves. Right. And if I was, if I, if I would have known you before you came down here, you know what I would have told you? Yeah. Park your car over in New Jersey, somewhere, right, and leave it there, and then come over here on the subway. Right. Yeah, I originally had it parked there. I know that. I'm all over the place. So. Yeah, because trying to park here is impossible. Okay. I came up here. We drove up here all oh, about three years ago to do a demonstration for Mark Emery. Uh, you know the guy from Canada that they extradited for medical, you know, for marijuana seeds. And uh, I got a $138 ticket just for pulling up this one day. And they had this teeny, tiny little sign that said no parking. It was like no bigger than like the corner of this right here, right? And, uh, you know, I got a ticket. And I was like, fuck. You know, I don't mind paying parking tickets, but at least have the sign. I, and I wanted to come back up here to contest the ticket. But the person whose car it was was insured under somebody else. I think it were parents. And they didn't want to contest the ticket, so uh, I ended up I ended up sucking down that, paying that ticket I didn't want to pay. So I know how you feel. And I've had vehicles seized in San Francisco. The sense is San Francisco is another auto theft city. So if you ever go out there, be careful of your car as well, right? Because the you know they got all kinds of car thieves out there, but the biggest car thief is the government themselves. So try, so have you decided how you're gonna are you gonna go back to Chicago for the winter? or Are you gonna stay here? Stuck or do you want to? Do you want to be here? Um, I'm here for the next year. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna make a commitment. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, because if you're ever stuck, you know we can raise funds for you to get you the hell out of here if you want to go back to your home. Yeah, I've got. Uh, uh, you know, some legal cases going on, so I got to stay. Uh, were you arrested on Monday? No. I know, but. Okay, you weren't arrested. Yeah, I could buy stuff. No. Because they did that. Okay. Excuse me, folks. I'm yawning. I'm tired, and it's contagious, isn't it? It is. It really is. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's been an exhausting.
Uh, uh, yeah, let's see. We, we talked to her earlier. You asked her to help you find the girl. Oh, well, I'm going to go back. Oh, Ryan, it's Popeye. Okay. I'm catching up on things here. I just looked at the at the chat. What's nice about this is that when you're online, yeah. you can chat with you, right? My phone just got mm -hmm. too. shut off. I was on oh, your service? Plan, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. What plan? Um, AT&T. Oh, they suck. But, yeah, I stay away from them. I've got the, the Ustream dump, and I might just get a Wi-Fi card. Yeah, I got one. You want to live stream tonight for a little while? What's that? I said I'll be here for another half an hour if you want to live stream for a little bit. Uh, I'm beat. I'm waiting on homeless services to come out here. I met with them yesterday morning. They were supposed to meet me out here. They were looking for me a little while ago. They should be back. Okay. So, we'll see. I'm just wondering because I carry around a hotspot with me. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I'm probably going to get my own card. I like to the stream in the morning when they're doing the hosing and everything. So. Okay. But yeah, I'm still getting used to it. I, I was only doing it for about a whole week or so. Well, it's not too hard. Basically, you have to providing commentary and talking with people. You just can't sit there and just like, duh. Yeah, yeah. Right, you gotta you gotta talk and you gotta engage people and and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back up here and talk to Fatima for a second. But I'll be around and good luck to you. Thank you. And my name's Clark. Nice to officially meet you, Clark. Uh, thank, thank you very much. And I'll be back. Uh, I won't be here, but uh, tomorrow. Yeah, well, I gotta. I'm leaving town, so I gotta pack up. Actually, I'm. I got. I have every, I, I'm very organized about my traveling and everything, so, yeah. you know, I know where I'm headed and yeah, all that, and I've done it before, and so, so I'll, be, I'll be leaving late tomorrow. Uh, i got to go to Global Revolution for one more meeting. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where are they meeting at? Uh, well, it's just, um, I'm, it's a private meeting with um, uh, the guy who uh, uh, set up Global Revolution, and, and after I'm that, I'm done for the day. I might come down here yeah. one last time, depending. Depends on how much I feel like hauling my luggage around. I don't really feel like hauling my luggage around. Right. It depends. I was looking for Vlad the other day. He was going to help out with the phone bill. And Virginia got me in touch with him, but I missed him. All right, you better give him a call because he's leaving tomorrow for Madrid. Okay. Okay. And he'll be around his office. You know where it's at, right? No. Okay, uh, it's on Bleecker Street. Oh, 300 Bleecker? Yeah, no. Uh, Bleecker and Lafayette. Okay. And there's a dress store in the corner there, and it's the next door up. Okay. So if you need to get a hold of him, he'll be around. Yeah. He's probably going to curse me. He's watching this live stream right now. Okay. I'm probably going to get a big... No, I'm sleeping. That's where to find him. Yeah, I went to this coffee shop, so I was told that he would have a table set up there like okay. days ago. And I'm going to walk and all the dumb things Well, there. I'll be up there by 10 o'clock. Okay. If I'm there at 10 and I see you, I'll bring you with me. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. I'm trying to make it clear. Thank you there very you much. You're welcome. Take care. No problem. Safe nah, travels. I don't see you tomorrow. Okay. Nah. At 10 o'clock, I'll be by. I'll be at Global Rev, the corner of Lafayette and Bleecker. Okay. Right. Um, I'll be there if I don't have a meeting with the homeless okay. outreach services. All right, look for me. Thank you. You're welcome. We always do our best to help out everybody here. All these great lives, all these great uh, occupiers down here. We're right around the corner from the New York Stock Exchange. Out here protesting for your rights. Let's see. Hey, son. Hey, what's up, Hassan? Hey, Jay. I was just at the studios. I'll be back tomorrow uh, at between 9 and 10 a.m. So do stick around. And uh, my little harsh words on the uh, on your message. Uh, don't worry about that. I was just to just to wake you up a little bit. Ha ha ha. So you having a good night tonight? Let's go. What's your name? Michael, and uh, where are you from? You from New York? Uh, I'm originally from Chicago. Oh, another Chicago one. Uh, came out here uh, about a year ago, but I've gone back and forth to different occupations for the last year. So. And how long do you plan to uh, spend in New York here? Open ended. No clue, man. No clue. Good. Great. Well, here's a little. Bit of yeah, do you have anything you want to talk to? about the, uh, This uh, came out in the paper today, and I thought I would share it with everybody. Alrighty. So while Bloomberg's income has went up uh, approximately $5.5 billion, the average wage of somebody in New York, 50000 and it looks like it hasn't changed in 10 years. Yeah, it went up 
37 dollars in 10 years but in one year bloomberg went up uh, 5.5 million yeah he's part of the one percent that's for sure and the one percent always do better uh they have better you know it's just not fair our economic system is not fair it's not set up properly but i'll tell you one thing soda's the problem this isn't the problem soda's the problem here in new york soda what do you mean uh he got his he got his soda van passed his uh large soft drinks right you can't have them anymore in, in new york city starting in march right yeah so uh so you don't agree with that well i don't uh, of course I don't agree with that, but I'm like, that's what he's focusing his attention on. Like, that's the problem with New York, but this, this Okay, I see what you're talking this about now. nothing to do okay. with what's wrong with the I see city. what you're talking about now, okay. Yeah. All right, that's what I was wondering. Stop the war on big gulps now. Yeah, right, they ought to, they ought to stop arresting people for marijuana here in New York City. They, 50, were, try they were trying to get that. They couldn't get it past the assembly, man. Yeah, 50,000 people a year get arrested in uh, in uh, New York for marijuana offenses, mainly black and people of color. Uh, they're getting busted for uh, simply smoking pot. Yep. It's not fair to use it as an instrument of repression against young people, young people of color, um, because it keeps them in the legal system, right. and so they can keep tabs on everybody. Well, we also now have a uh, privatized, corporatized uh, prison system. And right. The only way they make money off of it is that there's people in jail. Okay. So, yeah, I mean... Five percent of the world's population, 25 percent of the world's prison population. Yeah. Ain't that America. Alright, nice sign. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, keep it out there. People need to see that shit, you know? Yeah, but he's now the tenth richest person in the U.S. I like to put my foot up Bloomberg's ass. I swear to God. You know, I saw him. I did a demonstration here a few years back at uh, at the uh, uh, right across from the courthouses where they did Law and Order. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we did, it, and he was having a. I, we actually had a permit for it was a demonstration in support of Mark Emery, uh, the guy from Canada who was uh, uh, extradited here for uh, selling marijuana seeds. Oh, yeah. Right. So we had a demonstration when we had a permit. And that sawed off little fucking punk, right? Well, you can't have a demonstration here because I'm giving a press conference, right? And so we had to wait. I didn't want to get into a big fist fight about it, but I was ready to um, because we did have a permit that we paid for, right? And then he decided to give his press conference. Yeah. Hey, uh, Bloomberg, if you're watching this, fuck you and fuck you from four years ago. So. Bloomberg, how about you just pay your share? Yeah, you pay, pay your taxes, your share, buddy. Help us out. And uh, you'll be helping yourself out. You won't be hanging from the rafters one day because all of you guys that have all this money are in danger. You're not in danger from me because I would never behave badly in response to bad behavior. But other people have different ideas. And that's a warning. Okay, all great. Right. Yeah. That's from my... It sucks. Uh, it's going to suck. They have to give up their money. At least a little bit of it. In which a little bit of their money is like... A billion dollars! Right, I'm like, I'm like, did he mean to touch rich people at half their income? Yeah. You still have billions of dollars. <laughs> right, you still have a billion dollars, right? Right, yeah. You know, how about all these fucking, you know about uh, France, right? Um, they, they just recently instituted a 75% uh, tax on all people making over a million dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, now we got all these, like, these tax, cheat, tax cheats. They all want to leave France now and move somewhere else, right? Yeah. After they've been sucking the economy dry of France for years and years. Right. Right? And fitting. Right. They benefit from the roads. They benefit right. from all the stuff that we pay for right. to support say, them, but they don't want to pay their goddamn right. taxes. Yeah. Right? This is a definite issue. Yeah, and uh, that's why we're out here. Long. You know, that's we wanted to pay their fair share in taxes, right? How you all doing? Hey, not too bad. How you doing? I'm just living. Learn. And what's your name, sir? Jake. Jake, and uh, what do you do? Clay Hudson. I'm in the stock business. Uh, you're a stockbroker? Yep. And what company? I work for Merrill Lynch. Right. Bad company. Yeah. Lynch America. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a supporter of Occupy? No. Well, guys, let me tell you something. I'm all about jobs. Right. And a lot of publicly traded companies that are traded on Wall Street create jobs, which create 
cents dollars for people in places other than here and therefore that's what makes the country run so no i'm not a sport of okay so uh why are you coming down here well, i just was going to talk to you all for a second i'm going to get on that bus okay all right well it's good to talk good to talk you're on live stream right now we're talking to my audience so what uh, what well, uh, you have anything else you'd like to say to the audience out there? No, I don't think there's many people watching. Oh, uh, there's enough. <laughs> More but than you think. I'm just saying, man. I know, I mean, they definitely do. They definitely do. What do you do for a living? Me? I'm a live streamer. I do, oh, okay. uh, I'm a programmer. Yeah? I, uh, what about you? What do you do? Well, before I started doing this full time, I'm a member of Actors Equity, you know, I was an actor in Chicago. Okay. Uh, now I just kind of do a little survival challenge here and there, so... Uh, that's my choice. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not saying. I'm just saying, guys. So you don't think the system's fair? Or, you know, it's not fair. How do I feel about the wealth pay taxes? Well, pay fair taxes. Well, I think that a lot of people, everybody pays taxes. But I don't think the wealthy, Poor, wealthy. Well, should we all pay the same rates? We all do pay should, the same rates. So we don't. Huh? And then many oil companies, yeah. many other companies don't pay Don't pay any, any taxes. taxes at all. And that's a problem. They pay a lot of jobs. But they need to pay taxes like the rest of us. You can't tell me that's not true. About the jobs they, I, okay. they need to pay taxes and create jobs. Yeah, and they create jobs, both of them. Yes, they are. They're not, they're not going to suffer from your paying tax. We pay income tax. We pay income tax. Yeah. I agree. That's the main thing that needs to happen. And if you can help us make that happen, I would be most grateful. But it ain't coming. It ain't coming. Well, I, I think it can. If you can help us make that happen, it would be most grateful. But it ain't coming. Well, I, I think it can happen. It must happen. Happens in France. But Obama's not going to happen. I mean, Obama's president. not going to get it done. Obama's not going to get it done. The Senate's not going to get it done. And the the citizens get it done. Oh, well, the no citizens way. unite. Whenever it's a public. And the citizens get it done. Do you think? Yes. I kind of agree, even a way. But I really disagree, in a way, because there's not, there's not 300 people out here. That's well, we got you to come down, didn't we? It's, it's I just stopped by. It's all. It takes yeah, I know. Million. It takes a lot of time to fight the media lying machine, basically. I would agree with that. Yeah, and hey, that takes. I gotta go, but it's a pleasure Thank to visit so much with you. Thank you for stopping. Pleasure to visit. Thanks for dropping by. You know, I'm not a dickhead or anything. I'm not. No, no, no. I totally know that. We appreciate people with open minds. Thank you. That was good. He seemed like an interesting gentleman. So we're down here, you know, we're willing to talk with anybody, keep an open mind about what's going on. You know, we don't always we don't always agree about things, but he is correct that we do need more people. I don't really think we need more people down here so much as we need more people at home to participate. The people to demand right. that things happen. I agree, I agree. I'm in total agreement. Let me check my chat here and see who's chatting. Yeah, he does, he's from the south. Uh, let me see. I got an early today, Tom. Lady, what she wants? Oh, I'm trying to see. Butt hurt, metalhead. Yeah, I refer to MSM as a corporate ministry of propaganda. I agree with that. He'll build you Right. He just hopped on that bus. Where? And who knows where he's going? Maybe he's going on a bus back down south again. <laughs> but he seemed like a reasonable man. You know, and was entirely unreasonable. But we're always willing to talk with people down here. You don't have to always agree with us either. So uh, that's the that's the reason why we're down here. We're here down. We're right around the corner from Wall Street. Right. Yeah. He was uh, coming up. We're gonna walk real up here, and we're gonna talk to uh, see if the team is back, and she's awake. I got a big mouth, but I don't want to keep some of these people that are sleeping. It's very tiring work down here to be an occupier. You don't get much sleep. Hi, Fatima. Yes. You, you had somebody ask for you online. Uh, uh, Hillbilly 865. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says hi, so you can call him. Uh, Bert, Butthurt Metalhead. Okay. Does that sound familiar to you? No. Um, but hi, everybody. He says Thank if you, you want. So much. You're welcome. No problem. Thank right. you. If you want, you can call him now. Right. There's somebody that's asking for you. Let me check it. I can't go back on my. Oh, here we go. Um, let's see. Yeah, he'll be 865. She, she says, Fatima seems to be a kind, gentle soul. Aww. I smile each time I see her. Oh, thank you. So. That's very sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thank you. So we're communicating with all night, our... Everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Are you heading to D.C. tomorrow? 
Yeah, I'm gonna go to DC. Nice. So give him hell I'm, down I'm there. excited. I'm gonna give him hell. Yeah. And I'm back going back to San Fran where I'll be conducting a series of workshops on live streaming and getting people yes. out there with their smartphones and yeah. the more people the merrier. You'd be surprised because everybody has smartphones and all these different phones that can videotape. Right. But not a lot of people understand the Right, well, that's what I'm going to try and do is to tell people yeah, so they can live stream when I get back to San Francisco. Yeah, that's excellent so, because we yeah. need everybody. Everybody should know how to do it. I agree. More, the more cameras, the better. Yes. Right? Yes, I agree. And we're developing software so we can be able to monitor all those systems. And and by Christmas time, I'm hoping to have my, my apps developed for Android so people that will allow us to stream to our own servers yeah. and use peer to peer networks and, and, and really make. Safe while doing all right, and keep people yeah, safe. Right. And keeping safe, and, so, and that's part of it. So it's kind of great. I'm really happy that that uh, people out here. I love the chat. I love the chat with the, the people online. I love the chat with the people out here in the real, you know, in the world. And uh, live streaming is a wonderful thing. And I've kind of been. That's my new career. Well, it also it connects everybody. Right. In, in, a, in a, as opposed to going on Facebook and not actually. Right, yeah, you actually have real time communication. Yeah, and it gives it a whole different dimension. Yeah, there's like a four to five second lag, but it's not too much. Right. How long have you been down here, Fatima? Um, down in the space, I got here probably the third weekend, I want to say. So you've been here since last year? Uh, no, in the park I was in and out. And okay. I didn't sleep in the park. How, how long were you here? Here I came about the third weekend. All right, well, I just wanted to say hi and uh, let you know that there are viewers out there that care about you and love you. We love everybody. And Thank you so much for your support, everybody. We really appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful trip. Uh, you okay? too. I'll see you later. I will. Don't I'm ready. Get away with I'm ready to do battle. Yes. So I'm waiting on my... Do you know what time it is, per chance? You can't tell because I'm on, on my phone. It's like about 9. got to be about 9. Yeah, because I'm going to get out of here in a bit, because I want to try and get into bed. I've been able to get to sleep before 4 o'clock in the morning. So. Me? Yeah, to sleep at night when it's dark outside around here, because during the day it's too loud and too noisy. Well, and also there's so much interference. Well, you want to be up and you want to be dialoguing with people, but also you have to keep an eye on PD to see, you know, because depending on the shift and who comes in on the shift, I agree. So it's it's good to kind of like try to we try to cat, catch our little cat naps. I agree. Yeah, because it's exhausting. It can be exhausting, so we don't want to burn out out here. So we try to touch tag each other, make sure we take care of each other, make sure everybody gets some rest. Okay. Or at least a day away and come back. But gentlemen, ladies, have a wonderful trip. All right, Be thank safe. you. Bye bye. Hillbilly 865 is totally ecstatic right now. He says, "Thank you for talking." Okay, um, we're not going to be here much longer because uh, we're going to go back to Brooklyn. I have to go back to Brooklyn. So, uh, okay. well, I'm going to try and get some sleep tonight. Not till so, uh, Brooklyn. No sleep till Brooklyn. We're going to have to let you go, you viewers. We love you so much out there in, in uh, Internet Land. Uh, Everything's really mellow down here tonight. It doesn't look like anybody's going to get arrested. So, good news. No. Good. So, uh, I'll see uh, one more pass here, and then we'll take off and, right. and do the thing. Nice to see you, Fatima. Nice to see good luck you. in all you do. I'll be back in New York around Christmas time. Okay. Okay. Hopefully the weather won't be too harsh. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I'm whipped and I need some personal time and having a few hours tonight will be really cool. Good, good. So we'll see you later, hon. We're getting ready. We're going to go back to D.C. Uh, and then I'm back to, back to San Francisco. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back around Christmas. So, I'll be back. Clark. Clark, Sarah. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Let's give everybody. You want to 
Anything you want to say out there to uh, people out there in the live stream? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where are you from, anyway? I'm from Houston. Uh, D.C.? Houston. Houston. Two viewers. Yeah, I've been to Houston. Yeah. I'm getting mirrored, too, so... What's your name? My name's Clark. Clark? And you're live streaming. Yeah. What's your, what's your, what's your channel uh, name? Free Man Sullivan. Free Man Sullivan. Free Man Sullivan? Yeah. Are you going to be out here for a while? Uh, you, no, I'm actually getting ready to go home. Oh, right. I'm fucking beat, and I'm, gotta, I'm getting ready to leave town tomorrow. Right. So, what's you, your you, name? I'm Chris. Chris, nice to meet yeah, you. Yes, nice to meet you guys. You guys have a beautiful night. Occupy Wall Street loves you. Cool. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for being out here, guys. No problem. What's going on here? It's a fine piece of hardware you got there, sir. Oh, thank you. Looks like Apple software. No, it's, it's LG Esteem. Ah, see, I'm off my digital game. What, are we live streaming right now? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, and you didn't break the camera. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> well, you know, I got a, I got a mug here, you know? Right. It'll get on the camera, and it'll just, cameras will just start breaking. Women's hearts will just start breaking instinctually. It's a rough, I, I used to be fat only because I had to get that way as a security system. Right. For me having a thousand children. So now you're slimmed down. You're Dropped fit. 60 pounds on right. a steady, by, uh, steady diet of love making, bacon, and swimming as well as working uh, four days a week for five-hour shifts all summer on uh, in Saltaire, Fire Island, cooking for various millionaires. Oh, okay. Rich. Uh, no, I'm the number three at Apple. Mm -hmm. Nice. But also living in the town over. And where, you, and where are you from? My name's Tim McGorry. Right. I'm, uh, I'm from New York. Okay. And this is my friend Tiffany. Hi, Hi Tiffany. Hi, Tim. Tim. Timothy Patrick McGorry. All right. All right. Can right. we talk? Can we do like an interview? I feel like I need a debrief or something. No, 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. Well, We're getting ready to split. Get in touch with me. I've got information here. This is my email and my internet Great. addresses. I am also on the uh, Twitter. I've been Twittering uh, since the uh, the March. Oh, good. All right. Uh, my Twitter account is... Uh, I'll wait until she's able to. I mean, uh, do you want to make that public? Because this is a public. Yeah, this is going out I, I'm on completely this? transparent. Sir. Okay. Yeah. I'm not anonymous. Right. I am on the record. All okay. right. What is it? At. Yeah. Uh, McGorry, which is spelled M C G O R R Y, and then I N C Incorporated. Gotcha. I am a stand-up comedian. Oh. All Underground right. stand-up comedian. I've been doing that for about eight years. Right. Coming on eight years. Uh, trained at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater between 07 and 09. Fantastic. It was pretty great. Pretty much played every room there is to play. But, you know, things close down, open mic shift, and there's always new places to talk to people. Well, it's a great place to be a stand up comedian in New York, New York City. This is pretty much here in San Francisco, in Los Angeles. Chicago. It's more Chicago. of an improv. Right. But, I mean, I feel like Chicago is like. We bring up Chicago, like Del Close, like the city, IO, and Prom Olympic, you know, really the, the good home base. But I mean, you bring up New York, you also bring up, you know, every amazing comedian from Long Island, in addition to, you know, Long Lenny, Island. Lenny Bruce. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, like, who's from Long Island? I mean, like, Jay Seinfeld, and Stern, like, it's a good track record of Long Island churning up a lot of comedians. Not that I hop on that trend. But the actions. But yeah, I've been tweeting a lot. Uh, I just caved in like three months ago uh, because I, A, I felt I wasn't marketable whatsoever. And because uh, it's still a dream to be paid to do that, like enough. It was a great Mark Wade comic. I actually brought a bunch of comics out for various people. Oh, to nice. Read. Yes. Uh, I have uh, not slept since 10 p.m. yesterday. Yeah, well, I'm getting to that point. The whole time. Yeah. All right. Cool. Everyone slept. I didn't. But, you know. It's good for the keep you awake at all times. Absolutely. Ever vigilant. The uh, owl biology. Mm. Mm, indeed. <laughs> Highfalutin turns abound. Yes, highfalutin. <laughs> I, I gotta cut that on my diet. <laughs> <laughs> all right then. Well, listen, uh, it's a pleasure being here. Yes. I don't want to hog the time. I don't want to no, feel like... No, it's okay. We've just got to yeah, move forward this evening. Peace to you, my friend. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll be following you. I caught you online. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I sent you a tweet. Sure. All right. All righty. I'm also yeah. on the Facebook. Send me that same name. Okay, yeah, my email on there is... Uh, awesome. Oh, same name? All right, yeah. 
All right, well, we're getting ready to sign. We're going to make one last test. Say goodbye to the occupiers of Wall Street and for one last time. And uh, I'm really sad to be leaving, but made a lot of friends out here, a lot of wonderful occupiers. So we love you, love you streamers. We medics love you guys. All right. Always. Cool. So I'll be back in Christmas time. Always. Always. All right. Are you doing the November 5th? No, well, I'll be in San Francisco, so probably. Nice. nice. Right. San Francisco, we got a real strong presence. Well, I'm taking DC. Well, I'm going down to DC tomorrow. So. Y'all yeah, be there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll be the Ku Klux Klan rally. I'll definitely be up for that. Fuck the Ku Klux Klan. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. See you guys later. We love you. I feel bad about leaving. <laughs> I feel sad I have to go. Yeah, I know. I feel sad about going, though. Yeah, like, yeah, you're taking, kind of taking care of them. And Took a little piece of my heart. Yeah. Oh. Good night. See you later. Anything you want to say out there to our, our audience? See you guys later. See you guys at Christmas time. Uh, Alrighty. Well, this is Freeman Sullivan down here at Trinity Church. I'm going to sign off. I'm tired. I need to go home. And uh, prepare. I'm leaving town tomorrow. So do remember to follow me on Ustream and keep up with all my updates. And this is Tiffany. Hello. Saying good night. And Freeman Sullivan saying peace out and have a good night.